Okay, back through time, there has been apparently lots of uh, inventions that have uh, been able to see uh, past, seen the past through through um, equipment. Um, there was the um, uh, chronoscope, uh, chronovisor. Um, you know, maybe maybe I should just show you a little bit. Okay, what happened was here is uh, okay. We have uh, this chronovisor. Okay, I think this was the, the the last the one last one that came out before the CERN thing uh, allowed them to view history. Okay, following last week's bombshell claims by WikiLeaks that the CIA has the tools to hack into smartphones and even TVs to listen to conversations. An author has claimed it has much more sophisticated devices which can travel through space and time. Okay, um, I'm going to just play a little bit of this for you. Um, under fair comment, I'm just, I'll make some comments along with this. Let's just zip through a few things here. Okay, chronovisor. The name given to a machine that was said to be capable of viewing past and future events. Invented by Father Ernetti, an intellectually brilliant priest and Benedictine monk, he claimed to have evoked the insights of modern physics with ancient occult knowledge of the astral planes to build in secret a time machine known as the chronovisor. He asserted that using the chronovisor as his eyes and ears, he had watched Christ dying on the cross and attended a performance of the now lost tragedy, the Estes, by the Father... Okay, that, that's the the, the uh, uh, chronovisor. Okay, uh, chronoscope apparently was invented by some lady um, from the past. Um, hang on, glare on this TV here. Um, okay, um, here we are. Uh, chronoscope. Okay, here we go. Okay, this lady um, apparently 1938. Uh, there was a, a device. Hang on, let's just. Uh, politics, social unrest, dingbat inventions, and exciting new scientific discoveries are all the rage. In the spring of that year, academics from around Europe gather for the presentation of one such discovery at Dublin's Royal Irish Academy. The discovery's author is a 28-year-old Irish woman by the name of Charlotte Keppel. Charlotte is a self-taught scientist. She comes from a long line of crackpot inventors. Obsessed by science from an early age, Charlotte spends her boarding school days fashioning Tesla coils out of hairpins and cutlery. Okay, you can, well... I came across an old yearbook from her convent. And uh, within the pages of the yearbook, I discovered the most extraordinary story. The girls, as usual, after evening prayer, had returned to the, the refectory for their evening meal. No sooner had the Reverend Mother said grace before there was an extraordinary bang. Charlotte had actually blown the sacral car down into bits with her, in the course of experiments with the Tesla coils. Okay, we're just going to go a little bit farther here. Um, um. Okay, she invented some kind of a, a wave. Uh. Charlotte had stumbled onto something simple yet remarkable. Like the way astronomers see events in space yeah, as they happened I don't even believe this space ago. exists anymore. Here is a slow traveling waveform all around us, but invisible to the human eye, that carries with it information from the past. Upon this eloquent discovery, she built the chronoscope. <clears throat> a machine that can detect these waves and render scenes of history in vivid images. The thing looks like a Heath Robinson invention. You, know, you, you wouldn't think it could possibly work until you see that footage. I think most people thought there was a man Okay, she invented this apparently, this machine, you know, it was back in 38, 39 or something, and uh, they, didn't, they didn't like this whole thing, so I guess they were trying to 
get rid of her. I guess they were at her. They were going to hang her or something, and somehow she got away. And uh, you can look up all this thing. Just type in chronoscope. You should be able to find it on on uh, YouTube. Um, no use going through the whole thing and just doing this under you know like off the screen a fair comment. It's all out there. Okay. Now they've been uh, they were trying to put this a uh, chronoscope sort of make it like it was a, a watch okay okay so they got the Longine of uh, Longine they had this uh, Longine um, when Admiral T. Bird or Admiral Bird whatever he was investigating the South Pole and the North Pole and um, they called it the Longine chronoscope okay so they make a line of watches that are like time, they call them like time machines okay so uh, it, it sort of put the rest in this time machine sort of a scenario but anyway um, things are strange okay now I mean in the past also apparently Hitler was trying to invent this bell this time time machine too of some kind you know Everybody's been working on it, and everybody's been, uh, they've been trying to, they, they put, um, on the South Pole, uh, they call it a pole, but they put, there's a treaty, there's a treaty that all the governments in the world have joined that nobody can go to the South Pole for some reason, and when this Admiral Byrd went, went there, he was supposed to investigate for a long period of time, I think it was Operation High Jump or something like that, uh, you look it up. You guys look it up. I don't know. I'm just seeing what I'm seeing out there and speaking about it. But anyway, he was supposed to be investigating it for a long period of time, and all of a sudden they came back in a very short period of time, and it was over. Um, but anyway, I, I think now that really they have their CERN, you know, because uh, when you're looking at it, you know, when when they can when they can change products around you and change the wording in your Bible even and, and, and take the monocle off the monopoly man as I showed you in many videos there's no more no more monocle on this guy here on the boards and everything you know, look in your cupboards if you got one look look see if there's a monocle on that guy if you got one of these monopoly games um, that's, an old, that's an old thing you know this is old I don't know what year it's even off. I don't know. I'd have to look on the thing to see. But I think now, what they've been inventing and what they've been working with, they got their D-Wave uh, quantum computers. They got their CERN. No, they invented this uh, CERN. Now, why would they put billions and billions of dollars into CERN? Oh, where are we here? CERN time machine. Here we go. Oh, we'll play a little of this. Fairly new show. Um, this episode, interestingly enough, called The Lion's Den. And so this features, you know, uh, a machine that they utilize to manipulate time, to open up portals, to transport things through time. What do you know it? And it looks exactly like CERN. You're going to see right now. But what I would say is also pay close attention to the dialogue. Very key. So let's take a look. And this I do, but she's sick, so she thinks I'm a god. Maybe she's right. What you're doing is not like the next Big Bang without the noise of the mess. What you're doing is godlike, the next Big Bang without the noise and the mess. Mm, that's something. Of course, Shiva, the god of destruction outside, the Big Bang, recreating the Big Bang. This is all symbolic of order out of chaos on a spiritual level. That's what CERN is all about. Phenomenal. It is just phenomenal, Richard. So would you look at that? Here we have in this TV show a machine that's exactly like CERN, octagonal, of course, eight-sided, being used to manipulate time and to open interdimensional portals as they transported this cubic structure, this cube of seed samples into the future. All of these TV shows, you know, showing commercials, everything, showing 
a CERN-like machine, or portals opening up, this whole theme of portals is very much a um, huge part of the conditioning taking place right now in pop culture. Okay, so much out there. You can look it all up yourself. Um, all I'm saying is there's just been so, so much um, coming forward right now. And the future, I see to the future as bad. I think it's going to be bad. No way of prepping for this, my friends. No, There's no way of totally prepping. Eh, people think the powers are going to come back. Oh, no. oh, I got a generator, got some gas, I got some food. I got food in my freezer, I got my fridge, I got my, you know. Nothing will work. If nothing works and nothing is open, you know, and your car won't even run if you can put gas in it, possibly, if they, if, if you get such a spark that kills all the microchips and computers and, and anything that's got a board on it, you know, or a microchip, which everything does now, um, you're really in trouble. And you're in trouble if you don't have people to stick together with. That's why I'm an advocate of the T line, because the T's provide nutrients. Uh more than anything else. So I mean even if you had some staples, you had flour and rice and sugar and a, uh, some stuff that won't go bad, uh, wood stove, some wood to, to cook on or something, you have to have something. I mean you can make bannock if nothing else, you know, like a, uh, there's so much stuff out there you can make with a few things, but you can end up, if you don't know what the plants are outside, or you, you know, you're going to end up, first of all, very depleted of minerals and nutrients. You're going to die of scurvy. You're going to die of, uh, you know, just your body won't function if it doesn't have the proper stuff in it. You know, and right now in this world, uh, where so much processed stuff and so much... Uh, uh, you know, so the nutrients are missing out of the food, uh, the, the soil has all been over uh, overused, uh, they've just been putting nitrogen to make stuff grow, so it's missing minerals and nutrients, but we're still getting some, we're getting some, and you can still find some, some decent stuff out there, but um, if you, uh, anyway, I'm saying you should maybe prep a little bit. Look into that steep T line. Sign in if you want. Uh, sign in wherever you are with somebody. Find somebody that's selling the lines and that, that gets you together with people. And you get to study the products. Study all the products in the T lines, you know? I mean, uh, and, and it's so well um, laid out. And it gives you so many tools to use to, uh, you know. To generate association, to generate uh, a network of people to study stuff um, and get together. That that's what the main things are. Get together with people. And um, anyway, I'm canceling this video right now. Uh, if you would like to look into the T's uh, in Thunder Bay, look up uh, uh, Rick Curick on the Steep T line. Uh, you just type in you type in Steep T. I'm just type in Steve T for a second. I'll get my keyboard there. And they got they got lots of stuff out there, okay? Steve T comes up right away. Uh Steve T shop, specials, catalogs. Okay, well you just look at this. The catalogs. Um okay, well, view flip book. Okay. Uh catalog flip book. Okay, just go to flip book and uh, we'll make this just a little bit loading spring and summer okay see you can just flip through the product lines hang on let me go through here uh, flip through oh I don't know what I'm doing here anymore okay so you just turn, turn the pages and, it, and it'll show all, all the different teas in this thing it's got amazing amounts of teas and they provide you with products you know like all kinds of different uh, there, there's motivation things in there that are, are really good. Uh, you know, I, I can't say enough about this this uh, 
this company as uh, far as I can see in the product lines and uh, you, you can work together with people and there's videos out there of people saying how much you can make people are putting up videos constantly um, showing all this all these products and how to sell it so you can go online and you can get videos from people that are demonstrating it and showing all this stuff and you can email that out to the people you want to interest to do this and and the tools are all there they even give you a web page for I think it's three months free or something with your and it's like a, a 99 box in Canada to, to to get your whole product first startup kit and the uh, and all the the stuff you need to to get started, and it be it's a business. It's a business. Uh, you're on as a uh, 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 what do they call it? Um, steep tea advisor or whatever it's called. Um, anyway, like I say, there's so much here. I mean, you can flip through the pages of this book right online. Everything's set up. The success stories. Table of contents. I'm going to make the back of the book now. I'm at the very back. But there's, oh, there's tons of pages here. We're going to flip through slowly. There's the table of contents. And they give you six sex stories constantly. Um, different products. Uh, they have baking stuff too. Like they, it, It's set up for you to actually, all it, just to do, you know. And uh, they're claiming that uh, you do a few parties a, a month. Well the, well, the lady was saying something like four parties a month, and you're you're making you're maybe doing six hundred bucks a month or whatever, uh, on average. But there's so much out there. We're gonna flip to keep going. See, they got lots of product lines. They got lots of different gadgets for making all the teas. It, it's been so well put together. I mean, if you they were even on that Shark Tank or whatever it was called, uh, and uh, two of them bought in. Uh, two of the the. Uh, the people on that uh, on that thing bought into this this line. Okay, hang on, we're gonna get this stuff here. They got lots of products. They got lots of different types of things for posting, and then they got teas. They're teas and teas and teas, you know. And all these teas will provide amazing amounts of nutrients. There's just there's pages and pages of different teas, you know. Um, and it's been made claims to to dandelion. They have dandelion tea. They have turmeric tea. Claims to curing cancer. That they don't make it. They don't make no claim, claims to curing cancer. But it's out there, you know. Uh, page back. Okay. But there's so much out there, you know. Like there's more pages of teas, fruit teas, um, different baking stuff. Um, here you got there. Matcha teas, you know, like it's uh, so much out there. And, and there's, it's unbelievable. Uh, veggie teas, veggie teas. You look it up, man, look it up. Uh, I don't know if I'm through this book here. See, more teas. Uh, which ones are these? Organic teas. Um, here we go. There's turmeric teas. There's uh, all kinds of uh, real ingredients. Okay, you can click on, click to view the screen, whatever you can, you can, they put it all together for you. Just fantastic, you know. In this in this little guidebook, and uh, and they're they're keeping up on this all the time. So it's now in the states too. So I would suggest find somebody in your area, get on the stuff, get the stuff in your cupboards, get together with people. Don't just buy it. Don't even go just buy it. You got to get together with people. You got to start learning. You got to start having these parties where you develop a network of people that are associated, that are helping each other, that are studying all this stuff. At the end of this, if the power ever goes out, which I think it was going to, uh, across the world, you better have friends. You better have some supplies. You better have ways of getting together. Money uh, you could sell or just buy for yourself. Um, your choice, but I, I'm just saying, I've never seen this many blends of teas anywhere, and I have been personally studying health and the benefits of plants, of God's plants, for for many, many, many years. And I've seen so much stuff uh, get corrected uh, health-wise by plants, uh, natives, they use... Uh, 
um, trees, lots of, they got seven bark uh, teas and stuff like that. They use for all kinds of different things. But I mean, you've got vegetable teas in here, blends and stuff. It's, it's just, uh, it's just amazing. Anyway, if you want, you can uh, contact uh, through this, uh, through the Kijiji, or there will be a little uh, email on the bottom of this video that you can contact us. I thank you for watching, and uh, look forward to hearing from you.